that crackling is that big giant insect dude. It's, it's creepy. It's coming to kill you, he says. Only if he can catch me. Well, welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to head down south and start scouting out a new permanent home for ourselves. Let's grab everything out of there. We're going to go sell that. I was going to go harvest the garden. It is still day 71, uh, but it's not ready yet, so I had to redo the water. And, um, figured, well, let's just go ahead and start the next episode and head on out. So there's two places that I'm potentially going to move to and we're going to check out both places and figure out you know which ones of those is going to be the most feasible i've got a bunch more things in here to sell too so basically here let's just grab everything um but we'll put back the stuff i normally keep in here um we're taking a land claim block with us we want to keep those in there those can stay in there i wonder, i should probably bring some more of that with me too uh and the Bedroll, and I think that's all we normally keep it in. Okay, so let's go sell this stuff to Trader Bob here. We're not going to take a job from him because we're going to going to do a little road trip uh, today. Oh, I need to set the graphics to GFXST budget zero. There we go. Okay, let's talk to you. Uh, look at your inventory, and let's sell some stuff here. Okay, so we almost have 40,000 coin. Almost. Really, really close, which is great. Um, let's check his inventory because he did reset. It's got SMG5 schematic. Uh, ta a green tactical. A green pump. Okay, uh, let's look at uh, let's look at just everything else here. Okay, that's all the stuff we sold him. Much obliged, stranger. Much obliged, stranger. Okay. It is noon. So, yeah, I think we're ready to go. Actually, I should probably bring a little more food with us. Let's go grab a little more food before we take off. We have a full stack of coffee, so I think that'll be, be good. Uh, I'm not necessarily going to try and make it back to the base by nightfall. We'll probably just have to hunker down somewhere. Um, or, you know, we can come back on the mini bike at night. That's just not a big deal. Don't want to ever do that on a horde night, but you can do it on any other night. Uh, we got 44 murky waters, which is great. Uh, plus, I have more concrete cooking up. Uh, so let's grab the fruit salad and the bug kebabs. And we have, uh, we'll have 11 coffee with us. And that, that should be fine because we're not, not planning on doing a lot of exertion. Oh. I was going to also get some more empty gas cans, too. So let's see. Where do I have that at? Probably in here. Yeah, so let's just grab another stack of those. Because we are going to have to stop and get some gasoline on the way. Okay, so let us uh, let me show you what's going to happen here on the map. So what I'm going to do is I'm considering either this town. The advantage of this town is it's really close to the center of the map. Um... I mean, really close, but it's got four gas pumps in it, and it's a large town, so there's a lot of stuff we could do there, and it has a Trader Gin. Uh, a tra right? It's either a Trader Gin or a Trader Bob. I think, yeah, I think that's Trader Gin's place right there. I just actually haven't marked it. Um, so, so there's that place, or I was thinking about this place. No, this place is also another very large town, and it has uh, the Deshong Tower and the Higashi Tower and some of the big skyscrapers in it. But the thing about that, though, is that, you know, we're not we're not going to be able to do any of that until we get a, um, you know, a hazmat suit, uh, which I'm sure we will eventually. The other advantage to this one is it's closer to the snow biome. So if we wanted to go and, you know, mine up a crap ton of nitrate, we could. Now, I've been getting a lot of nitrate, though, from, um, you know, just from mining stone enough to sustain us, you know, uh, for sure. So I don't know. Um. 
if we stayed here, we could still, you know, we still have access to, to these areas up here. Um, except for that it is a little bit tricky getting to them over land. So, I don't know. Uh, I've I've been all around in this town, so I pretty much know what's there. The The main allure to this town is four gas pumps, or four ga places to get gas, I should say. And, you know, good-sized town in the center of the map. I have not really explored this area, so what we need to do is we need to go look at this area uh, and explore it and see how much gas is there, too. And maybe even take a look at this part, place, because there's a little more town up in here that I never got to. Plus, this one's closer to the desert. And there's a highway here. It might be this highway. It's hard to say for sure. So, yeah, let's let's head down here. We'll get the gas, and then we're. I'm going to get on this highway and just see where it leads. If we're lucky, it'll actually intersect with this highway. Uh, okay, so that is the plan, and I will see you guys... I might not show you the gas. I mean, you've seen me do it many times. I'm going to have to fight a bunch of hordies, but I'll probably not show that on camera unless something really crazy happens. So I will meet you. The plan is, is I will meet you somewhere uh, along this highway here, and we'll pick up uh, at that point. Okay, so see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we're back, and uh, we're just about ready to enter new territory. I'm pretty sure this highway is going to actually go to this town, and if it does, then we have another highway to this town. Uh, because remember, I, I played on this map uh, in vanilla for uh, my main Alpha 19 uh, Let's Play. So the, the terrain and the roads are exactly the same as they were before, it's just that the POIs are different. So uh, if memory serves me correctly, again, I'm, I'm pretty sure this will go to that first town. So we'll take a look at that one first. Uh, and then we'll head down to the, the larger town with the skyscrapers and see, um, you know, what what's down there. One of the one, one big factor for us, of course, is you know having gas in in those towns. And uh, I'm sure there's going to be some. It's just a matter of you know how much. So, all right. So I will meet you at uh, that first city. Okay, we're in actually in a a different smaller town here. Let's just scope it out real quick. See if there's any gas stations here in particular. So this has that um, big church on the mountain POI. I always thought it might be kind of fun to live there. It, it might be a bit of a pain in the butt, you know, from a practical standpoint, but could be fun. All right, now we come to a junction. All right, yeah, very nice. So it's really good that there's a highway connecting the, all of these these towns here. Uh, that's going to help quite a bit. All right, well, let's go take a look at this town uh, over to the east first, and then we'll head down south. Um, it's getting on in the day. We don't have a, a lot of daylight left, and it's really hard to see things at night. Uh, in Ravenhurst because they bring the fog out so um, we'll just take a quick look see it's a night stalker lying on the ground there over here and then uh, hopefully we'll have enough time to scope the southern town before it turns full dark all right so where are we at here all right that just goes off to another side road there the bears eating the cop Okay, here's the trader. This trader wrecked, it looks like. Uh, let's put the... No, not a quick waypoint. Okay, got that marked. Oh, there's a library. 
Library skyscraper here. Nice. See, I, w I was here at night time a long, long time ago, but I couldn't see anything. It's really dark. We got the tier 5 apartment building here as well. Oh, that's a Deshong. That isn't a... That's not the library. Okay. Also off limits to us until we get the hazmat suit. Let's go this way. All right, let's pop in here really quick and see if the gas pump is good. I want to, um, let's get these back on our toolbar as well. It's broken. Shit. Okay. Um, what about the one outside? Ooh, that's a feral ledger. Let's go over here. Ah, oh, nuts. Looks like I left my pickaxe back at the base. Hopefully we don't have to dig anything. Okay, we need to check this gas pump over here. I just want to see if it's good. Looks like it is. Quick, 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 quick. Okay. So we know we have one thing of gas in town. What the hell? That was weird. Okay, so uh, looking down that way, I don't see anything that would appear to be gas. Uh, even though we didn't technically uncover it. Yeah, let's go down this way. All right, we are now in uh, the southernmost city. So the first order of business is to drive around and find out how many gas pumps there are. And then, you know, if there's an adequate number of gas pumps, meaning, you know, at least, I'd say, two different places, you know, then we could start looking around for uh, a house to live. If uh, we don't find an adequate number of gas pumps, then I'm probably going to be inclined to go back up to the, the town where we have the four different uh, places and make our permanent base there. Uh, so let's just drive around and see uh, what there is to see here.
let's stop here really quick and take a look at Trader Jin's inventory. I should have looked at Rex too, but I didn't think about it. Okay, she doesn't have an auger. Nothing too fantastic. What's down in that garage? Seeing a, a feral white standing there, though, is not uh, an encouraging sign. Okay, here we go. There's some gas pumps here. Next question is, do they work? Yeah, that one works. Okay, so we have two pumps. If we can find at least one more location with, you know, at least, well, I guess at least one more pump, preferably two, then I think uh, we can stay here. But if that's all we got, that's not, that's not that good. All right, we going back up the, no. Let's keep, I, I want to finish the perimeter first, and then we'll go up and down the streets. Actually, I think we've already been this far down. Okay, yeah, so let's go up to this next street, and we'll, then we'll just go zigzag east and west through the town. Oh, here we go. Same same place. Okay, let's, um, let's deal with this wolf. Did he just get stuck? Oh shit! What the hell? We had we have one of those Molotov throwing dudes. Okay, does this work? That one works. Okay, they both work. I can't get to them right at the moment. But now we know we have four working gas pumps in town. Okay, so I think that pretty much answers that question. Now the next question is just where we, where do we want to live? Um, and I thought about maybe building something um, too. The advantage of doing that is we won't have to worry about uh, repops. The disadvantage, of course, is we have to build something all the way from the ground up. Like an, even a, like a little forest here in the in the city. That's kind of cool. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I I'm pretty sure this is where we're gonna live, you guys. So now it's just a, like I said, a matter of determining exactly where and how and that sort of thing. So I'm going to uh, I'm gonna give that some thought. And uh, I will let you guys know 
what the plan is, but it is almost night time, so we're going to have to kind of hunker down somewhere. Um, what I might actually do is is just kind of keep driving around even at night for at least as long as I can still see and see if I can determine uh, where where to set up shop. So let's see. Yeah, there's a there. Th you know this this we had to look at this place because you know having the water there we could use that for the garden. Um, otherwise we'd you know if, if we wanted to try another lake garden we're gonna have to go out of town again. Let's go take a quick look at that real you know before it turns night. This little pond place over here. Oh, is that a waterworks? Is that what that is? Oh, it's a waterworks and it's frickin' uh, radiated too. Shit. Well, that, that sucks. Yeah, that is one consideration. Um, let's stop here for a second. Let's get back out on the road here. So there's no accessible water inside this city. That is irradiated there. I don't know if this is here. I'm thinking it might be. So uh, let's let's take a look at that back at the the other town way up. Uh. I guess the other thing we could do is just do a legit garden without a lake, as long as there's a wishing well really close by, because hauling water otherwise is going to be a pain in the ass. Okay, so up here. There's a couple of places with some water in this place here. I'm not sure what that is, but based upon the size of it, my guess is it's probably a tier 5 irradiated place. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not opposed to doing, doing a, a garden, you know, just plant the garden wherever, as long as there's a, a, a water source, so like a wishing well close by like really close by so that's another thing you know another important consideration for all of this you know I guess the other thing too is we could live just out of town and, and build our own base on one of these lakes or even look at some of these PLIs here um, if I do another lake garden I'm going to build it out in the center of the lake, and I'm going to have more space in between the, uh, you know, the ground and see if that makes a difference in terms of it not using up, um, you know, all the water, which is the problem that I'm running into right now. So, okay, well, we found the gas. Um, that's that's good. There might even be, you know, a junkyard or a couple other places in this city that would have have some gas too. That guy, that crackling is that big giant insect dude. It's, it's creepy. It's coming to kill you, he says. Only if he can catch me. All right, well. I'm going to go, uh, go ahead and let you guys go here and um, just kind of cruise around until I can't see anymore. And then um, when I bring you back in the next episode, I should have, hopefully I will have made a decision as to where we're actually going to, to live. So guys, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.